We are not messing around today. We are getting right into episode number eight of our AC Milan Super League career mode series. Another trip to England. It feels like we've played a lot of Premier League sides lately, but we are traveling to Wembley Stadium to take on Tottenham here. Tottenham are one position behind us. They're in fourth, we're in third. Let's try getting ourselves to the top of the table by the end of the eighth episode. So here is the Tottenham starting 11, Pochettino's men. They do have Hugo Lloris. They've brought in Aurier. Well, they already had Aurier, but they've got Vertonghen, Sanchez, uh, Dyer, Wanyama, anybody new, Lucas, Deli, Ali, Hummin's son, and Harry Kane up front. So a strong side, but just like real life, they have not brought in anybody. But obviously, if you've seen the opening few episodes, you would know we've brought in plenty of players. But here is the lineup we are rocking for today's first game. Conti and Musashio come into the starting 11 for a bit of fitness reasons, but Silva is back from injury. Only one game out for him. Benzema up front. Deli Alley on the attack early here for Tottenham. Just jockeying, trying not to give them too much space, but we do. Thank the Lord, Deli Alley misses that one. When I went a little bit too far with Bonaventura, I thought that was going to be 1 0. Harry Kane is running through here for Tottenham. Bonucci just jockeying, puts it across the face, clear it. Oh my God, how did we not concede there? Kane. Bolting through, takes the shot. It's been all Tottenham so far in this game. Now Tottenham are on the attack. Dyer going through. Harry Kane gets the shot off. Saved on a rumor. And we put it away there with Rakitic. Let's just clear it. Harry Kane is on the attack here. Don't want to give them too much space. They get the shot off anyways. Another save there from Donnarumma, but Tottenham get the corner. All right, so it is a corner here for Tottenham. Hyung Min Sun, drilling that one in there. Nicely done from Ricardo Rodriguez, but Lucas does have the ball. He goes to Davinson Sanchez. All right, corner time for Tottenham. They've had plenty of corners lately. They've been all over us. That one goes in there. It falls. Silva's going to be the first to get to it. Come on, let's get on the counter-attack. I'm just holding down the sprint button with Suso. All right, I see you. Make the run, Silva. We're going to keep going with Suso. Now we're going to go out to Silva. Silva on the angle. Get out of it. We do not deserve the lead in the slightest in this game. But the counter-attack king strikes again. Suso and Silva. What a partnership. We make the most of our opportunity. I mean, look at that. We just kept running with Suso. Lovely finish from Silva. But in no way, shape or form do we deserve this lead. Tottenham are going to look to equalise here. They're going through. Conti trying to stop Lucas. They go to Harry Kane. We try to stop it. Thankfully, Kane can't sneak it in at the near post. That's a nice ball up there. Rodriguez should win it. Yeah, he does good stuff. Now can we get them on the counter? Bonaventura. Going to Montalivo. Who's going to thread it through here to Suso. Trying to go through. Nice skills there from the Spaniard. Squares it. Benzema to wrap it up. What a goal. 2-0. Oh my goodness me. Silva picks up a brace. One of the nicest team goals we have scored all season. We do not. We're 2-0 up and we do not deserve this lead. Oh my god. What a goal. The skills from Suso. Beautiful stuff there. Good decision from Benzema to play it on. Lovely stuff. They're trying to get a goal back here, Tottenham. We're trying to get back. Conti trying to stop them, but that's not going to help them at all, Harry Kane. And look at all the space we have now. Silva holding down that sprint button, feeding it through to Benzema. Can we get a third goal to wrap this game up? No, we can't. And there it is, fellas. That is probably the most undeserved win we have had all season. Tottenham all over us for the opening 70 minutes, but... Suso and Silva and Benzema, the Dream 3 combo, combine together to get us a shocking 2-0 win at Wembley against Spurs. I was not expecting that result. So following a surprise win against Spurs, we are giving the Paolo Maldini medal points to... 3 points to Suso, 2 points to our goalkeeper Gianluigi Donnarumma, and 1 point to the goalscorer Andre Silva.
Alright, we stay in England now for the second game of today's episode. Travelling up to Manchester, a little bit north from London here, to take on Manchester United. Foggy conditions, but this is very... It's funny because I was lucky enough to visit Old Trafford earlier this year uh, with EA Sports and... This was very, very similar conditions to the game I got to go see United at. I got to go see them when they lost. Well, did they lose or was it a draw? I think it was a... Yeah, it was a draw, I think. I can't even remember, but it was the game against West Brom, like, right at the end of the last season. But this is exactly the conditions that we had to endure. But let's see if we can get the result here. We sit in second place. A win here could see us go top of the Super League, which is weird to say. So here is Jose Mourinho's Manchester United side. David De Gea starts the game. A strong back line there. Both with Jackson in there, surprisingly. No Bailly, no Lindelof, no Jones. Lingard, Matic, and Herrera in the midfield. Juan Mata, Romelu Lukaku, and Marcus Rashford up front. Do they have anybody on the bench? they got Sanchez, but they haven't really brought anybody in. And again, fixture congestion this time of the year can be quite frustrating, so we've had to make a few little rotations in this game. Calabria and Romanoli back into the starting 11. We have brought Locatelli in for Bonaventura, a big test for the young defensive midfielder, but our front three, you can't replace them. Passing it around here, Benzema going to Silva, dragging it up the line there to Calabria. An early goal would be nice, so so off the post. Oh, what a start it would have been. Man United on the attack here. That's a nice ball through to Romelu Lukaku. Passes it to one matter for some reason. Why wouldn't Romelu Lukaku take the shot in that situation? It breaks down, but you're less scratching your head, aren't you? United on the attack here. Matter's got the pace, but not a great cross. <gasps> Why would you not catch that one dollar rumor? Are you kidding me? If they score off this, I am going to be unbelievably salty. All right, at least they don't, but it's going to potentially see us get on the counter-attack now. I'm going to go up here. Benzema to Suso. Hopefully that stupid punch from Donnarumma works out very well in our favor. It's coming through. It's going to Calabria, who puts it across. Silva, touch, goal. God bless you, Donnarumma for punching that one out stupidly because we've hit them on the counter-attack. Silva, three goals in the episode so far. What an episode. What a ball from Calabria. Great touch. Great finish. AC Milan is on fire. Oh, my. Going here nicely to Locatelli, who's running through. Quick little plays here. Benzema trying to cut. Benzema outside the box straight at De Gea. Kaku on the attack here for United. Going to one matter. Good defense from Ricardo Rodriguez. It keeps falling down though, but Lingard. Keep doing that all day, mate. They're on the attack here. Lingard. Nice play. That is a nice ball. What a save. Gianluigi Donnarumma saves us there with his feet. All accounts that was going to be a goal. But what a save there from our Italian stop shot stopper. Martial on the attack here for United. Going to Romelu Lukaku. We need to change to Locatelli. Goes through. Herrera. Oh, I was about to say, how has Herrera scored that one? Another bullet dodged. <laughs> here we go. Kessie going to Calabria. Down here. I see Benzema. Early ball. In there. Oh, great challenge from Valencia. That would have been such a nice goal to score. Uh, now Borthwick Jackson pushing up. That shows United are pushing for it. Martial, shot, save there from Donnarumma again. Here we go, we've got the numbers. Silva, feeding it through to Kessie, who's got fresh legs. Lingard does not. We're going to put this one in here. Open for Benzema, the follow-up. Oh, it's a corner. Lingard on the attack here. United are really pushing up for it. We've gone defensive. Ah, good touch from Alexi Sanchez going through. Good challenge from Valencia. The save. How did Valencia even make that tackle in the first place? I would have been so unbelievably salty if United scored off of that. Danger is not over, though. It goes in. Good stuff, Calabria, but it falls right down to Valencia. Martial misses again. We are counting our lucky stars right now. Honestly, we are counting our lucky stars. 
How have we given him that much space? I've overcommitted there with Nzonzi. Alright, another corner here for Manchester United. Keeper is up. De Gea is up. If we can make a tackle here, we need to worry about defending. Come on. Good stuff, Donnarumma. Is it going to be a free kick? It is, but that means we can't take it quickly. Is the goalkeeper. Damn it, he's back. There it is, fellas. We escape a crisis of a game. I don't know how United didn't get a goal back there in the last few minutes, but we pick up all three points again on the road against United. We have not been great in today's episode, but that just shows how good our side is. We just keep getting results, grinding out the results. Another somewhat undeserved win, this time against Manchester United, and the points are going to... Three points to Gianluigi Donnarumma, two points to our right-back Davide Calabria, and again, one point to Silva. So, fellas, as you can see right now, it is January 1st, 2018. The transfer window is open, and I want to know who you guys want me to sign, so... I'll go across and I'll show you our full, like our strongest full strength starting 11 well, at the moment, like, except for Charlotte Ugly's injury. But this is what we're rocking with right now in terms of full strength, everybody's fit. And I'm still debating whether I go for a new right back or not. That's something we spoke about at the end of the window, but Calabria has impressed me throughout this opening start of the season. Uh, Silva, obviously, overall wise, he's one of our lower players, but he's been very, very good, as you've seen in today's episode. I know a few people want me potentially to go in and get rid of Bonucci, considering he left in real life. That's something I'm somewhat open to, but Bonucci's been pretty strong for us. He's scored a lot of goals as well. Left back again, another spot I'm interested in, or maybe I just get some more depth for the squad so that when we have these high congested fixtures, uh, we have some depth in the squad. We've got about 15 million to work with, I believe. So I'm going to leave the floor open to you guys. 13.7, but a lot in the wage. So let me know who you want me to look at, what position you want me to upgrade in the comment section down below. But fellas, we are back at home for the final game in today's episode. It is a top of the table clash in the Super League as we face Atletico Madrid. As you can see there, we are one point behind Atletico Madrid, so a win will see the title race in our hands, but it's going to be tough. If I knew it was going to be such a big game uh, a couple weeks ago, I would have really planned for it, but this game is only two days after the Manchester United game, so as you can see, looking at our starting eleven, it's probably the weakest side we have rocked all season. And it's our biggest game of the season, so not a Jared Nance or a Jared HD masterstroke right there. But it is what it is. We're going to hope that this experienced side, this weakened side, can get the job done. And I'm assuming Atletico Madrid are going to come out guns a-blazing. Jan Black in there. A very strong backline. Diego Godin. It's going to be hard, hard to get past these players. A very strong midfield there. Vitolo, Koke, Sol, and Party, And then Diego Costa... And Antoine Griezmann up front together. That's going to be fun. Atletico Madrid on the attack early here. Diego Costa, an early warning sign. Come on, we're trying to get ourselves a goal. That'd be great. So, so, if anybody can do it, it's him. What the... F what was that? Oh, my God. That was off his right foot, wasn't it? Does he have like a one-star right foot? I don't even know what foot he is. He's left-footed, but he's got three-star weak foot. That's gone out for a throw-in. Oh, my God. Diego Costa getting past the slide tackle, getting past another challenge. Diego Costa. Good save in the near post by Donnarumma. Oh, Diego Costa, nice touch to take it past us. Another big save. It's still on. Vitolo puts it over. Tricky situation for him. And fortunately, he doesn't convert. Uh, Thomas Party going through. Diego Costa. We're trying to get somebody to put some pressure on him. Whew. Oh, no, they've gone through. Griezmann, good save, Donnarumma. Thought we are in big trouble there. Atletico Madrid on the attack here in the middle. We're just jockeying. Don't want to do anything too rash. Griezmann, it falls. And Zonzi just gets his boot in front of it. Into the final few minutes here, Atletico Madrid. Diego Costa going through. Diego Costa, another shot like that. 
Trone. Ah, we had a counter attack going. We saw Suso going down the right hand side, but I am happy with a nil all draw. Atletico Madrid, whilst they dominated the sort of midfield battle, they had no real venom in the attacking front. I mean, Griezmann didn't do too much. All we saw was a few long shots there from Diego Costa. Ultimately, though, I'm happy with a nil all draw considering how weak our side was. A nil all draw to end today's episode, and the Paolo Maldini medal points go to three points to Romanoli, two points to Gianluigi Donnarumma, and one point to Matteo Masaccio. So, as we conclude the eighth episode in the AC Milan Super League career mode series, we have a new leader in the Paolo Maldini medal race, Suso, ahead of Benzema and Bonaventura on 15 points. Donnarumma enters the top six as well. But anyways, fellas, that is where we will conclude today's episode of the AC Milan Super League Career Mode Series. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you leave a like on the video. Make sure you bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. And make sure you leave a comment on who you would like me to sign next episode. But most importantly, I hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I am out. Peace.